Hello and welcome to this quick receptor tutorial on adding contact libraries. As you can see, I have first call horns unpackaged and ready to be transferred from my computer to the receptor. You can do this with any package, I'm just using first call horns as an example. Using receptor remote control, show the drive of your receptor. Now that we can view the receptor's hard drive, locate a folder that you would like to place the sample library into. I personally suggest using the samples folder. It's fairly easy to locate, and we are transferring samples. Once you have located a good folder to place your samples into, drag and drop them from your computer to the receptor's hard drive. Now that the file has completed its transfer to the receptor, load a 64-bit version of Contact 5. It doesn't matter which version of Contact, as long as it's Contact 5 64 -bit. Once it's loaded into the synth channel, click on the image of contact to load the GUI. On the left hand side of contact, you should see a column that has all the sample libraries loaded. If you do not see it, either hit the browse button or make sure that you are on the library tab. To add a library, simply click add library. Now you should see a browser and to locate the sample library, go to the same folder that you transferred the sample library to. In my case, this would be the sample folder. I'm going to locate it under C and in the samples folder. Make sure that the folder that contains the instruments and everything is highlighted. For me, this would be the first call horns folder. I'm going to make sure it's highlighted and then click add. Now you should see it in the list to the left. If you do not see it, it's possible that it did not add correctly or it does not add all, in which we will go over in just a few seconds. If you cannot see the sample library you just added in the libraries column, don't worry, you can still load the instruments. At the top of the column, there is a bunch of tabs. We're currently in the library tab, but we want to switch over to the files tab. Click on files and you should now see the directories of your receptor. Click on C, and then you should be able to locate the samples folder that we placed our sample library. I can see first call horns in the sample library, so I'm gonna go into the directory of first call horns, and we're going to go into the instruments folder. Here is all the instruments that first call horns contains. If I highlight one of them, in the window below, the file browser, you can see all the loadable instruments. You can either click and drag, or I can double click to load an instrument. 